Hi guys and welcome back. Today's topic of discussion is Human Resource Professionals and Microsoft Excel Charts. Charts, we have all seen them. The pyramids of uh, boxes and lines that lists everyone in your organization or department from top down. When it comes to visualizing your organization's workforce, graphs are still one of, if not the most popular, tools available to HR professionals. So I will directly come to the example uh, that I want to show you. For example, uh, a company has uh, a number of employees in Eastern Europe, for example, and these are just uh, a guest number or an example number that we are going to play with today. And uh, the company wants to, or the HR professional wants to show uh, the number of these people or the headcounts in a graph. So I'll just take a, take a very rough example and I will select this data and I'll go to the charts and I'll select anyone. There you go. Now, this is a chart showing the number of employees in different countries. But really, it's nothing uh, more than a glorified um, chart that you can see. Uh, it's really not uh, reflecting the people behind the chart, the number of employees, uh, which I believe should be shown as um, employees rather. So um, I, I was make a slight change over here, which definitely um, the HR professionals I'm sure will like it. So uh, what you have to do is to simply go to insert and in the insert, you can see over here add-ins. So once you go in your Microsoft Excel insert and add-ins, there you see the store. And in the store, I've already saved this application uh, or uh, the add-in that is people graph. So in the store, you click and you search over here people graph you should be easily able to find it. So simply click on the people graph. I've already downloaded it on my uh, computer. So you can see these are the people's graph over here, which is showing the people rather than only the lines or the boxes. So uh, let me quickly get on to uh, the numbers. So uh, whenever you get this chart down there, you, there are two buttons. One is for data, the other one is for settings. We'll come to the setting later. First, we'll check the data because we need to pull this data in this chart. So click on the data button. Uh, don't forget to mention your title. So rather, I'll put the title of, uh, let's say, East, Eastern um, Europe. And uh, I will simply select the data over here. Now, it's asking me to select the data and make sure we have the data in two columns. So I've selected the data. 11 rows and two columns were selected. Now I'll simply press create. Cool. I have the numbers over here, Eastern Europe, and um, I can see few of the countries. You can see till Russia, but it, the story doesn't finish at the Russian border, but <laughs> there are more countries here. So what you have to do is to select on or click when it's crossed like this over here, and you can see this. You see two headed uh, mouse cursor so you can see till Slovakia and down there Bulgaria and so on and so forth the more you drag it, drag it down the more you see the countries and till Ukraine we have all the countries over here now uh, when I've selected these countries um, or selected this data I will simply press control and I can see this graph moving down and uh, I can see all the countries down there now um, I'll go back because I want to show you something in the settings down there. So click on the settings and in the settings you have something like type. When you click on the type, you see the color. This is one of my favorites, a yellow and white combination. So there you go. You have a different chart now. I will go back from the settings and I can see the people in the countries. Cool. I will go back to the settings and in the themes, I have different colors. So now I can choose different colors as well. You can see um, gray and black, red and black, red and white as well, and so on and so forth. So there are themes as well in the settings, which you can choose upon your own settings or your own requirements. Then the most important part is the shapes. This is interesting because now, till now, we can see only this employee, but you can change the shape by clicking on this or maybe this one or this one. It depends on the data that you have. You will see different kind of scenarios when you select each shape. And uh, it's up to you what you want to select for your certain graph or certain data selection. Uh, one more tip over here, if you are going to show some of the timetables, some of the 
time usage or something like that, you can use this clock as well for each country. So it's working hours or something like that. You can show um, these clocks. You can use them instead of employees. So guys, I believe that a chart is more than a visual depiction of an organization. It can be used as a tool to discover important business insights and make strategic HR planning decisions for the company. So I believe the better it is, the better it looks, the, the good it is for the company and for yourself, of course, as well. So you can import and export, um, like you have imported already the data here in this chart, and you can export it to, to PowerPoints, you can export it to Microsoft Word or anywhere you want. Uh, it's up to you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like this uh, idea for portraying your organization's uh, strengths in this, in this shape. Um, good luck. I wish you all the very best and looking forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.